This Neville Goddard manifestation technique worked for me in about two weeks. So I want to share it with you guys. You may have heard it, but I want to explain exactly what I did and how it works and why it works. So Neville liked to call this his ladder technique. And he even said, do this technique and if it doesn't work, I'm a fraud. Okay, so he, he really believed in this technique. And I've heard it before and finally one day I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna try it. So what it was, in my opinion, is a combination of visualization and affirmations, but kind of working them together and using them together. What he would instruct his students to do was to visualize a ladder and climb it. Now, when you're doing this, and if you want to check out my other visualization video, I'll, I'll post it right here so that you can check out how exactly to do it the correct way so that it can be the most efficient for you. You want to do it in a way of really being in that scene. And you don't have to do this for long. I personally did this for maybe a minute or two for three or four days. So what I did is I would close my eyes and I would picture a ladder in front of me and I would put my first foot up there. Okay, what did that feel like? What did that prong feel like? And then I would put my second foot up. What did that feel like? Grab my first arm, what did that feel like? Grab my second arm, what did that feel like? And feel what it would feel like to climb the ladder and then go back down. And like I said, I did this for a minute or two per day. The affirmation part of this is saying, I will not climb the ladder as you're visualizing it. Now, some people do it in other ways. This is just the way that it worked for me. So do it whatever way you want, but I'm just explaining my experience. Some people would say all day, they would say, I'm not climbing the ladder. I'm not climbing the ladder. I didn't do that. I just did it within these two minutes that I was visualizing this as I was going to sleep at night. So I would just repeat myself, I am not climbing the ladder or I will not climb the ladder. I forget which one, but it doesn't really matter. I will not climb the ladder. And the reason for this, why you're saying you will not do something is because for me, in my interpretation of it, it releases any type of resistance you have against that thing. So think of it as like a real life manifestation, right? Like if you're sitting there saying, I have a million dollars, I have a million dollars, but then in your bank account, you have like 10, it might create some resistance within you because it seems so far out of reach. So if you're saying, I do not have a million dollars, then it doesn't create that resistance within you. Does that make sense? You know, cause the thing is, is and what he explains and what I've learned, and I think I have a video on how to do the correct affirmations. And I will, I will put that here is your brain still visualizes, even if you're putting a negative word into that affirmation, such as can't or don't or won't or something like that. An example of what a lot of people use is right now, I'm gonna say it to you, don't think of a pink elephant. You just thought of a pink elephant. So when you're saying, I won't climb the ladder, you're thinking about climbing a ladder. When you're saying, I don't have a million dollars, you're still thinking of a million dollars. So that's the whole point of doing it this way is because you're still essentially saying the affirmation, but you're releasing your resistance to it. And then once you add in that visualization component to it and you combine the two, it's extremely powerful. So I recommend just doing it for a few days. And then once you do that, don't think about well, how am I gonna end up climbing a ladder? There's no ladder, I don't even own a ladder. There's no reason for me to climb a ladder just let it go because remember manifestation isn't about knowing the how that is the key component to manifestation it's bringing that desire in and embodying that desire through whatever methods you choose but in this instance it's the visualization and the affirmation and letting it happen right so I did this forgot about it like two-ish weeks went by didn't even think about it again forgot I even did it and the other night, right behind me, that's where we keep our Christmas tree and we're taking all of our Christmas decorations down and you know, we're an hour into it or so. Our tree is like, I don't know, at least 10 feet, it might be 12, I'm not sure, but it's huge. So, you know, my roommate's at the top of um, the tree taking down the ornaments, I'm rolling some ribbons up and then he's taking down, we have an artificial tree, he's taking down the top part of the tree and he needed me to grab it from him and he's on a ladder. And I, again, I wasn't even, wasn't even thinking about it, right? And so I step on the ladder and I'm grabbing from the, um, from the other side of where he was and I'm grabbing this part of the tree and all of a sudden I'm like, holy shit, I'm on a ladder, I'm on a silver ladder because a silver ladder was what 
I was imagining and, and I was barefoot on the ladder because we were inside and that's how I was imagining climbing up and down the ladder was feeling those little ridges and the prongs of one of those metal silver ladders on my feet. And all of a sudden, I'm on the freaking ladder and it was hilarious because none of my roommates are into any of this type of spiritual stuff at all. So they always think I'm just totally cuckoo, but I'm like, <laughs> I'm like standing on the ladder and I'm like, I'm on a silver ladder, it freaking happened. <laughs> I'll insert a picture here because I just thought it was so crazy and I had totally forgotten about it. And so I was like, you have to document this. So my whole point is in, in this Neville Goddard teaching, it, it worked. And so now what you can do is once you start to train your manifestation muscles, as I've been doing for about a year now and testing out different techniques and seeing what works for me, what feels good, what feels natural, is now I feel like literally after a year of just trying things here and there, and yes, I've been able to manifest things quite frequently actually, um, now I feel like I've finally figured out a technique that works really well for me. So I would recommend you trying it and seeing if this works for you because it worked dynamite for me. And now between this, and again, I'll link this video here with the other manifestation I received by just doing a visualization technique, I now feel confident in what works for me. And since then, I've been able to manifest more and more things and I can't wait to continue doing so. So if you are a beginner with manifestation or you find that it's been difficult for you to focus on one thing or manifest things, I highly recommend trying this technique because it works like a gem. If you found value in this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe because it's free and it helps me a lot and I'd love to see you guys again next week. I love you so, so much and don't forget, be limitlessly yourself. Thank you.